गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई हैव वन क्वेश्चन पीपल आस्क मी वॉट आर दी प्रॉब्लम इन आई वी बेबी दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पर्टिनेंट क्वेश्चन टू द कपल दैट whether my baby will i conceive through in vitro fertilization or test tube baby procedure is will be there any problem to my baby will it be like a normal naturally pregnant babies or there might be some other problem related to the procedure these things are going with in vitro fertilization procedure since the beginning when it started but overall the chances of having problems in ivf baby is almost same as natural normal population normal pregnancies but there should be a discussion with the parents that one of the few problems might be increase in number with ivf babies which are in general population are very very low so the overall chances of having problem in ivf babies is almost at par with general population why it happens i am just telling what are the problems and where the problems might be what we do in ivf in ivf we take out the egg outside normally this egg goes into the tube and this is a closed system of abdomen or stomach of the lady so there is no light no air and egg enters into the tube here the egg enters into test tube we collect in an a test tube that means it is going through light going through air and it is entering into a temperature which we maintain at 37 degree centigrade we try to make as far as possible that there should not be high light or high intensity light or the temperature of the flow should be 37 degree centigrade from here the egg goes into the dish we again try to make it at 37 degree centigrade with minimum light ambient and with microscope we identify the egg after this egg it goes into a petri dish which is either for natural conventional ivf or for icsi here again we try to maintain as far as possible to reduce the ambient light as far as possible maintain the temperature of the whole system at 37 degree centigrade and the liquid in which we are handling the egg and sperm should be of same quality and quantity because it is researched now what type of fluid and secretion is in fallopian tube we the scientists and companies they have devised a same solution system which is available here like fertilization at cleavage at blastocyst so this temperature ph of the system the lights all we try to make it as far as possible natural to the fallopian tube so that there should not be any shock and either it is conventionally fertilized or exceed after this this goes into another tube where we grow the embryo here again the fluid which is present around the zygote or fertilized egg should be same like whatever is there in tube with the same ph with the same temperature with veins with same co2 with we try to make as there is decreased oxygen level inside the body compared to the ambient air we culture this thing under low oxygen also so that the oxygen toxicity also reduces this goes till blastocyst all the things which are going towards blastocyst we have to maintain the quality of fallopian tube so that it grows naturally to blastocyst there are multiple blocks over here naturally inside the tube also and outside the body also in vitro this is called embryonic genome activation only those embryos will grow they can activate their own system of making food food and their sustenance 
<coughs> after that this blastocyst goes into a tube under microscope and we transfer inside the uterus <coughs> sorry this is the way we do the ivf now here it grows like a natural pregnancy what happens in the natural pregnancy here when it grows this step there are 23 chromosome from mother 23 chromosome from the husband or the male partner and one chromosome or part of some chromosome is active in female some part of the same system of chromosome is active in male it might happen that both of them become active which is not normally happens in natural fertilization <coughs> when this happens this is called imprinting disorder because the amount of protein needed by the body might be from one system of female or one system of male if one system of male is absent or double system this works or double of this work this creates a problem which is called imprinting disorder this has very very low incidence this might happen in ivf babies but if you see this book this is latest genetic disorders and fetus if you go on 49 page it is written that about 1.7% of the births in united states results from art although the frequency of imprinting disorders is increased the actual risk are very low but should be discussed that means my couple should know that this is an artificial procedure of creating baby may be happening with imprinting disorder on individual they are very low in incidence otherwise whatever in our 20 years practice the chances of getting abnormal babies is almost same as general population number of abortions are almost same as general population the number of other disorders are almost same with general population even sometimes the husband and wife the couple who are infertile may be infertile due to their own genetic problem these genetic problem has to be identified before starting the treatment that's why we always take a history of genetic problems in male and female and if required we do karyotype at least so if there is any problem from the parents can be transferred to the baby then you can imply this problem as an ivf problem but these problems comes from the parents so if you are if we are uh vigilant enough to see the husband and wife in pre ivf or in assessment cycle then chances of getting an ivf baby with genetic problem will be very very low thank you very much